getting the controversy award. Yes, Danielle. I was listening to the 24 teams radio after the race. They were a little miffed at Paul Menard's late race spin that benefited the 29 team. They desperately needed a caution to have a chance to win. Jeff Gordon took the lead here with about 23 laps to go. And as he was checking out Harvick's teammate, Paul Menard, he's 80 laps down. And he spins here with about 18 to go. Now, here was a 24 teams radio a little later after the checkered flag. How'd that 27 spin, Jeff? Did you see that? Somebody told me. But I don't. Yeah, I didn't see it. I was chasing down the 47. I'm sorry. That's all right. Karma will come back to haunt you. That's very interesting. So, you know, we went back and listened to the final 70 laps. Here was this, just prior to 60 laps to go. Keep in mind, Paul was involved in a crash with the 17 and might have been looking for a little payback against old Matt. But Harvick is leading at this point. 29 cars lead by two seconds right now. Do not need a cause. 60 laps to go, 60. Do not need a caution, correct? Hit four. So, they do not want a caution there. If Paul was considering payback against Kenseth, they say, no, sir, please don't do it. However, as the race continues, Paul was getting consistent updates on the battle between the 29 and 24 for the win. 29 is a two-second lead. 30 to go, 29 lead, 24 on his bumper right now. Check your bowl gauge, Paul. Check your bowl gauge. Thirteen and a half. Why? Clear by two. Twenty-four to twenty-nine are racing each other hard right now. Stevie, talk to me. Twenty-nine is leading by three tenths right now. We're good right now. Twenty-four is the leader. Clear by three to the two. Twenty-two laps to go right now. Twenty-four lead. Slugger, can you go to channel two? A few things here. Why did Paul have no idea why Slugger was asking about the bolts? Slugger never answered Paul's question about why. Was that the spin sign? Also, we do not have their Channel 2 scanner audio recorded. Why did Mike Dillon want to talk to Slugger with 20 laps to go about a car that's 80 laps down when they've got a car in contention for the win? So let's continue. I think you got right rear going now. Ten four. I'll look at it. Just, just maybe until we find out. We need to finish. Back off till you're sure. Now, just to be clear, when Paul suspected his right rear was going down, he wasn't advised to come to pit road, even though he was 80 laps down and everybody behind him was out of the race. Why stay out on the track and risk damaging your car or taking someone else out when it's impossible to lose any more spots? I think I know what went on here. But there was a lot of very interesting circumstantial chatter. I think NASCAR needs to take a look at this. Race outcomes shouldn't be decided by the team's actions like this. Wow, Jimmy, that's quite the conspiracy theory you've got there. But we're all out of time. We'll wrap up the hub after the break. Hmm.